It's Free Talk Live, 603-283-6160. That's the color line. You can call in and talk about anything you want, 603-283-6160. Someone watching us on Twitch, which you can find at twitch.freetalklive.com, has said that in Las Vegas, it's 80 degrees and sunny, and they still are being required to wear masks. That's ridiculous. Didn't this persist through all of last summer in Vegas as well? I don't recall, but... Man, even here in Keene, it's only gotten to like 70. Mm -hmm. And the fact that we're still wearing masks is, is absolutely absurd. People are, people are obedient. They're scared. You, got, you got your scared types, you got your obedient types, and you got your people who just want to be left alone. They don't want to deal with the, the, the drama. They don't want to go into a store and have to uh, chit-chat with some person or some other human being about how I got some, I have a health exemption. I have a religious exemption. I, they just don't want to deal with it. They, just, they, they would just rather... Put it on and go get their groceries. And, 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 and in my case, I won't even go into stores because I hate the drama so much. Yeah. I just won't even go curbside. I've been doing curbside since June, man. And it is. Well, like, yeah, but you a bit misanthropic anyway. Yes, I am. So and, uh, for you, not having to interact with people is ideal. I, I am. I, I still rely on human connection. Okay. Um. It, it, I a lot of think I think people think that I am a straight hermit who can go live in a cave and uh, and and throw away the cave key and never talk to anyone else and no I couldn't I I, I do okay. but I just I just I like to do it on my terms at at my distance I and, feel that and I and I I think a lot of us on this channel are probably you know somewhere in that in that boat um, but I uh, wear a mask when I go into stores and stuff like that I don't want to do it but at this point I. I know it's a minor local ordinance, but the terms of my bill do require me to follow all local all laws. Rules. So I, I don't know what would happen. I mean, if the if someone called the police about me not wearing a mask, that would technically be a violation of my probation terms. Yeah, that would be a stupid reason to go back to jail. Well, it, it, like you said, here in New Hampshire, every three weeks, our our Excellency the King Sununu he he extends his executive powers. Uh, to keep us locked It's got to be coming down. to an end, though, man. And, and I, I keep, I, I have a couple of friends who are very political, and they they follow all this stuff. And of course, they they follow Sununu, and and all of his executive orders are always posting, you know, his his newest mandate. And it's always three weeks. He's three weeks. We're all sitting on the edge of our chairs. We're waiting for him to lift the mask. Oh, he just extended it again. And I think that I think I think one's coming up. And the uh, he now he has come out. And he has said that we're not going to deal. We're not. He's not going to make people get the vaccine and or have or, and or require a passport. Well, that's which good is at what least. this is all about, people. Well, before I think we you, get I further think, into it, we have, do a, have a call. Ooh, ooh, so let's go to that. You, but you do have an article about Fauci's latest come out. Yeah, and I'll tell you why. But he's getting he's getting uh, criticism over that. Good. So yeah. Tony Baloney Fauci, he needs to go. We've got Mikey calling. Mikey, you're on Free Talk Live. Uh, hold on, let me unmute you. I'm not very good at this. You're unmuted. Go ahead. Mikey. Are you with us? No, I'm still uh, I'm still bad at this. There you go. Okay. All right, start over. Start over. Oh, uh, first of all, I'm glad to hear from you and that you're out and, and uh, free as you can be. Thank but, you. Uh, I wanted to talk about as I've been saying, freedom about. shouldn't be relative, but right now it is. Yeah. Well, you got to play with the cards you have. Unfortunately. Anyway, um, there was a news article that just came out. Uh, Nancy Pelosi apparently profited $10 million on Microsoft stock options because of a possibly because of a government contract with Microsoft. She had traded beforehand and then, I guess, Sold afterwards, so it's interesting that she profits ten million dollars with insider trading, but the FBI will not investigate her. So she bought some Microsoft stock. The government then made some sort of deal with Microsoft that caused Microsoft stock to increase in value, and then she sold it and profited ten million dollars. Um, yeah, uh, it says profited up to ten million dollars. But this is it, nothing new. This this is happening every single week. This is, you know, these, that's what these guys do. They've got all the inside knowledge. I mean, the they, vast majority they, of them. They know where the stocks are going to lean the next day. And they could, they, and, and it's completely legal to do what she did. They can't, they can't go after for this. 
isn't like Sununu's brother or someone, isn't he's related to someone who is making masks? I know that I know that he's in he's has a handshake deal with one of the vaccine makers who's who's uh, coming to New Hampshire to uh, to do business. I'm sure they all do. I'm sure everyone in Congress is heavily invested in both Moderna and Pfizer and are profiting majorly off this pandemic. And if not those two companies, some other companies like like Microsoft. And it's sad that we would be called conspiracy theorists to even point this out. But yes, absolutely. Most of the people in Congress are invested in Pfizer and Moderna and Johnson and Johnson. Uh, and and well and 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 we're going to talk about him in a second. Fauci, he he's got his hands on the patents, and he every time they sell one of his one of his drugs, uh, he's getting royalties. Do you have anything else you wanted to say about Pelosi, Mikey? No, just you know, government isn't about life, liberty, and property. It's about useless people making money. Yep, it's about power. It's a power grab. It's okay. a it's about a bunch of guys at the top, bunch of elites. Warlords, parasites. Who, who who have figured it out, who probably couldn't make it in the real world, in a real business, selling product, making lives better. They found out how to siphon off uh, all of the revenue that they that that is, is being stolen from us, you know, tax slaves. I mean, and that's they, exactly what happened. I mean, warlords back in the day, they'd ride into a town, they'd take all the prop, crops, and then they'd come back the next year and do it all again. And Seven samurai. Eventually they realized, you know, this is kind of tedious we could just stay here and take part of their stuff and they will let us because we're the warlords this is what they do they can't defend against us and over time it just involved it evolved into kings chieftains yeah, all the, that the, the next thing they know they're funding your schools they're educating your yep. children they're they're funding your churches and they're funding your religious ceremonies and your holidays and your celebrations they just and they own everything they own you and we look around we're born into this world with all of this having happened and to us we look around and go oh yeah that's perfectly normal that we have these presidents and congressional people but they're just warlords telling us that we have to give them their due but, telling well, us what we can and can't but, do but they're the good warlords it's the guy on the other side of this creek the other side of the ocean they are the bad warlords. Look at look at how they abuse their citizens. Look at look at all the the laws and whatnot. They're beheading people, and they keep make their women wear masks. Our warlord is good, not like the bad warlord across the ocean. That's one of the arguments against anarchism that I have never understood. But if we don't have a government, some government may come in and take control. Exactly. Okay. Like they like. Like, like what we have currently. Yeah, so what would be the difference? What the hell difference would it matter? Let's at least try it and see what... Let's try not having warlords parasitically siphoning away our lives for their own benefit. Exploiting us, manipulating us, controlling us. Let's just give it a shot and yeah. see what happens. I believe that human beings would be better off without warlords. I, I well, that's that's basically that's basically <laughs> how we live our lives. And it uh, shocks me. It stuns me. That not everyone agrees with that statement. It's all about security. It's the give, people giving up their freedoms for a little bit of security. They would prefer, you know, the, the security, the stability of the current system and all of the horrors that it brings. The wars, the atomic bombs, World War I, World War II, the drug war. They would prefer that over just not having warlords because it's a new thing. It's so scary to them. That they'd rather persist in this nightmarish hellscape of medical authoritarianism, drug war, international war, dropping bombs, tens of thousands of bombs. It, but, but, but Ari, it really starts at the very beginning. And that's why I brought up the indoctrination, the indoctrination camps, the schooling, the, the, the warlords are actually teaching our children. And they're teaching them how to be good slaves. They're teaching them to be dependent on their warlord masters. And that's where we're at right now. You have old people. You have you have grandmas and granddads who are, are in the boat that you're talking about. They can't. They're afraid. They're afraid of, of freedom in, in exchange for their security of being taken care of. Everything, every from, from, from cradle to grave, they're being taken care of. And they're afraid of giving that up because they're, they're slaves. The first step out, stop using government schools. Stop using government money. 603-283-6160. It's Free Talk Live. Look, I'm sorry, but you're in for a world of pain if 